Alright, so I cleaned up the back of the truck a little bit and uh, just stuck that gate up there. I want to see how everything kind of looked. It looks good. It's just attached by the two topped um, pins right now. And it's dark back here. Uh, what I'm doing in the process, I am cleaning up the hinges there in the sandblast cabinet. And uh, I figure I'll bolt them to the bed and I'll see where they come in contact with up here. I'll mark them and we'll cut a notch out to get them welded we'll back on. But in the interim, the mail came and it looks like VW parts. Unfortunately, the box looks a little pre-stressed. I'm thinking this should, should be our windshield stuff. I think I turned the camera on. Let's see what we got. Hopefully they're not bent like, well they're supposed to be bent like pretzels, but bent like pretzels in the wrong direction. Yeah. Hmm. One more cut. Years. I'm looking at them now, is how far they come out. Yeah, let's go bring one of them over there, see what it looks like. Alright. Should be that side. Ah, plenty. It looks like they gave you some some beating room to kind of fold it down. So that should be fine. You know, I was worried about not having enough material to work with, but uh, I wouldn't exactly say they are. Again, form fit. <laughs> but uh, I guess it's not terrible neither. You can kind of work it. Looks like they kind of curved it a little too much. You can see they hit it on a shrink or stretcher so we can uh, stretch the shrink back a little get that to lay down and then it looks like it's going to cover all the the punkiness pretty good though I like that all right well I am going to finish up on uh, my hinges that are in the sandblast cabinet and uh, we'll get that taken care of first before we uh, jump ahead so I end up uh, just transferring the marks after the hinges were on there of course we're all sandblasted oh there it is Come out easy, but uh, I ended up uh, just uh, marking off where it would go, and then I center punched it, center punched it, drilled the hole, drilled the hole, and then took the little cutoff wheel, little pneumatic one. It's got a tiny wheel on it, so that when you're going to make a slice, it uh, drops in further than uh, the big, you know, four and a half inch wheel. And I'm just kind of fine tune the edges with the file. Now, that's uh, the shape of an L on the inside. shape of an L on the inside so that kind of goes down along that back wall. So probably what I'm going to go do before I uh, back up there is probably just going to do one hole there, maybe two here or two along, uh, <laughs> help you look at what we're looking at, um, two right there. So one on the top and two right here and then we're going to plug well to that bracket once we get it in place. So, I think that should work out pretty good. That way I can kind of put the gate up in place, shim it to where it wants to go, tighten the clamps down, and um, tack it from the back side. Then I could take it apart and then we could fill it all up. So that way it's just kind of, we know it's going to sit right on the money instead of just kind of sticking them in there now and guessing. So if I have to fudge it a little bit, I, I have uh, the capacity to do so. And again, the holes um, that the screws go into, where the brackets are. I know it's dark, but they have, <laughs> sure they, they have movement on the inside. You can move those around and, uh, you know, fudge a little bit uh, of room if you need it. So uh, you get like a, you know, eighth or a quarter each direction to uh, go fudge. But uh, in case we're a half inch out, <laughs> I don't want to run out of that trouble. So uh, let me get this uh, drilled some more and uh, we'll get it uh, into position intact and uh, see how it looks. 
All right, so I got it kind of all in position and clamped and you know leveled from side to side and I have shims underneath it There's a, a piece of 16 gauge under each, each end of the uh, The tailgate kind of holding it up. So it's it's flush with the gate next to it and kind of clamped into place So that's right where it should be and uh, Four screws are in the hinges and it's tightened down and it's kind of a good thing I did it the way I did because I would have made a, a pretty big mistake. Let me show you so I figured I can kind of reach over and grab the two plug welds I, I did in the back, but here's the problem. That's how far it is away. So it is that distance in, which is, you know, a skinny half inch. So if I welded them in place, that would have made this gap a half inch too wide down in here. So, uh, you know, best laid plans sometimes don't work. Because the old one had a, a bunch of more sheet metal in there. I, I thought it once again went against the back wall, but it doesn't. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is just kind of buzz right across the top here. And on the other side, then that will allow me to take it back apart again. And I can catch that one from the bottom. And who knows, I might be able to build up from the inside. But as long as I catch the, the face and the bottom of it, uh, it should be pretty strong. Because again, this is, this is 11 gauge. And uh, what originally it was attached to was, you know, 20 gauge, but they spread it out further. So uh, I'm much more stout than it was before, especially after I weld, you know, all the way around this guy. So I'm going to go get on that and uh, see how we make out. I got that all welded up. Sandblasted hinges, huh? But there's no uh, no drag when it's rotating. That's what I did. I welded it from the front side, and then it came back underneath, and was able to catch the bottom and the bottom uh, where I, I made the plug weld. These two, I kind of built up material on the inside. They're haphazardly attached, but uh, then just filled the holes. But uh, I think it's more than strong enough. Shouldn't have any issues with it. So. them in there so now the only thing I have left really is this lip that goes across the bottom here and uh, I think I do want to fill that in just for the uh, the aesthetics of it but it's kind of mm, you know what it was before was a piece of metal that's rolled over on itself so we're not gonna be doing that you know this was one piece of metal that came down with an angle on it and then a piece from the bottom it rolled around and caught that lip so we're just trying to make it look kind of correct so I'm gonna see if I have any kind of thicker piece of metal that um, you know is roughly the, the thickness of that probably a piece of 11 gauge would be good and see if I can probably uh, rip a strip that I don't know this is an inch wide on the bottom so maybe maybe an inch maybe we'll and you know, then offset it probably a quarter of an inch quarter of an inch out you know and then that should be able to reconstruct that point. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll just kind of spot weld it to the bottom of it. And as far as, um, you know, making this and this attach each other, I'll probably uh, just run a bead of seam sealer right down the middle of it. That's got some flexibility to it, especially being where it's on the hinge of the back of the tailgate, you know, that uh, won't crack as easy as Bondo will. So let me go see a dig up in the hoard and uh, see if we can finish that up and then we can uh, be done with the metal work back here patches they call me patches all right so it's roughly five foot section I need to make and the only things I kind of found was that piece of that's eighth inch thick that was bent up for something that never got used so I think I can kind of slice a piece of that out um, but the only thing I don't like about that that is hot rolled steel hot rolled and cold rolled hot rolled is uh, not very good for uh, body work because it rusts very easy um, cold rolled uh, which is like what you see there is a, a different animal kind of holds up better so what I found was a piece of angle and I think what I'm going to try and do is just sit in front of the bandsaw for quite a while and try to slice off uh, one wall of that and that's about an inch in diameter and if you're looking at 
So again, that steel is an inch and then we're talking probably about a quarter inch to bring it up to where it is. So, I don't know, I don't think uh, being in here will be that bad of an issue, especially if I want to weld it across the whole lip. Um, you know, my original thought was just going down spot welding. So we'll see how it looks. I, I may go with the spot weld deal and then we can just seam seal this side, seam seal that side and be done with it. Um, but who knows until we get there. So uh, again, I'm going to go and take that piece and uh, slice it down to size and then uh, we'll go from there. I got that all cut up there and uh, drilled and plug welded and seam sealed the, the ends up. And that's a little janky. I don't know you guys like that word. The, this bottom edge is not exactly dead nuts, but you're cutting for 15 minutes, you kind of lose focus a little bit on your line. But again, I, I'm just going to run seam sealer on that, so all that should disappear. But again, this is the money shot, is what that reveal is going to be. But then we'll pop that on the truck in a minute. We'll see how it all looks. While it's still up in the air, I'm going to go hit it with a flapper disc. We'll knock those welds down. And then. Uh, We'll stick it on there and uh, see how she looks. And that was even nice enough to bring a light back here so we could see. Yeah, it looks good. It's, uh, you gotta take the bottom lip and kind of beat on that. You can kind of see with the deck is kind of pounded down a little bit. We could straighten that lip out. And the one on the top's pretty dead nuts. My foot said did screw it up is it should have kind of pushed out a little bit. It's a little, it's a little close right here compared to right here. But I'm glad I'm not a perfectionist. So I think all that will clean up pretty nice with body work. I'm a thinking. And I don't even think you're gonna notice the fact that those two, uh, where were they? Right here, those little wells are not there, I bet you uh, if I don't point them out and nobody sees this video, they're not even going to know. The difference a day makes, huh? So I would definitely say that that looks a lot better than that. See the problem? So. And I think over time it's even going to hold up, you know, better. Even if you know I did patches there, you know it was going to blow out over here somewhere else later on. So, you know. I'm liking. All right, well, I'm going to go get into something else. <laughs> 